The number one goal when sending a broadcast email to your email list is attention. And if you get your subject line right, you get attention. You get the content of your email right, attention. And to really get attention in your email, that's where I recommend using video. In this quick tip video, I'm gonna be sharing how to embed videos directly into your email using my recommended email software, ConvertKit. Oh, and if you're not yet using ConvertKit for your email, then check out this video right here, which runs you through three other ways to do this, regardless of your software. G'day, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing, and on this channel, I share tips, tricks, and strategies to help you engage your ideal audience through effective video marketing. If that sounds good to you, hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. Video and email has never been a simple task until now. You see, the fact is that in most cases, you can't simply paste a video into an email like you would a still image or a GIF. So if you wanted to send a video to your email list, then you'd have to rely on text hyperlinks or hacking the system to make it look like a video thumbnail, which when clicked would send someone off to play your video elsewhere. And this is the process that I shared about in this video, which I've linked to in this YouTube card. That is until now. You see, since mid-2021 here, the awesome team over at ConvertKit have introduced an even easier way to get your video content embedded right into the body of your email. So let me show you how it works and I'll share a few tips along the way. First, from within your ConvertKit account, click on the Send menu and then the Broadcasts option. Then click Create New Broadcast on the right-hand side. From here, you'll need to do the standard stuff of crafting a compelling subject line with bonus points for running an A-B split test and then adding some personality-filled copy. Next comes the part where we'll embed the video directly into your email. To do this, just check that your cursor is in the location that you want to insert the video. Click the plus on the left-hand side of the editor and select video. And then you'll see settings available over on the right-hand side with two options. The first is for URL. With this option, you can paste a URL of your YouTube, Vimeo or Wistia hosted video and ConvertKit will begin processing the video to make use of the thumbnail in your email copy. Importantly, make sure that your video is publicly available on that hosting channel that you're hosting the video on. Now it will automatically place a play icon over the thumbnail and using these options here, you can adjust the accent color and the color of the play icon to suit your brand or to contrast the play icon nicely with the thumbnail design. Now this next bit is super cool and a highly valuable way to create more engagement in your emails and click throughs for your video. Toggle this option right here to allow ConvertKit to generate a 15 second animated GIF of your video content. Depending on the length of your video, generating this animated GIF may take a little while, so just let it work its magic and come back when it's done. If you wanna edit the 15 second section that's been turned into the animated GIF, just click edit here and drag the selection to suit. Remember that you're wanting a 15 second part of your video that catches the eye and makes someone want to watch the video, so be conscious of the section that you're selecting here. Leaving the GIF preview option off will default to using the video's thumbnail as the preview image, and that may be your preference here. So all of the other regular tools are also there as well. So you can choose to right, center, or left align your video, adjust the video size, and more. There's also the option to play the video within the email itself when supported. Now it has to be said that many email programs that your recipients will be using won't be able to play the video in line within the email. However, by toggling this option on, if a recipient is using a client that supports native video, such as Apple Mail, Thunderbird, or Outlook.com, it will play the video, like so, right within the email. And importantly, any other email clients should fall back to show the standard animated preview or thumbnail, depending on your other selections. Remember though, that when using this inline playback option, any plays of your video on YouTube won't be counted towards your video view count as they're happening outside of the YouTube platform. So be wary of using this if your goal for sending your email campaign is to drive more traffic to your YouTube videos. Now, the other option here is to actually upload the video file directly to ConvertKit itself and bypass other hosting options entirely. 
When you choose this option, the video playback is actually hosted on a ConvertKit page and played back within a ConvertKit branded player. And this is fine if you wanna get a simple direct video message out to your audience and not worry about hosting the video anywhere else. But in many cases, the preference would be to host the video somewhere that makes sense for the action that you want the viewer to take after watching the video. So that's usually YouTube or on your Vimeo channel, for example. How cool is this? Super simple and just another reason why I love ConvertKit for my email database. And if you're interested in checking out ConvertKit for yourself, use the link below in the description to set yourself up for free for up to 1,000 subscribers. And if you're interested in checking out more ways to embed video directly into your email, even if you're just sending one email straight from your Gmail account, then check out this video right here for just the tips that you need.